Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome. Thank you so very much for joining me. This is another one of the journals that I made at the beach. And what I did was I created a journal, but I haven't fully decorated it. It is waiting for someone who loves it to take it to the next step. And then I'm putting together kits and you can either message me and snag it before it goes on Etsy or eventually I'll get the pictures taken and listed. I just wanted to get some of this wonderful stuff out to people who some of you mentioned that you're shy about creating the actual journal and sewing it together, but you would like to have one to decorate. So I hope that I have put together a pile of stuff that is just joyous and inspirational to you. Let me show you this one. This is Practically Perfect is the paper collection and some of it is from the paper pad so it's smooth but the cover was one of the actual individually purchased sheets with the wonderful texture. So there's a combination. You've got these gorgeous butterflies and it's sewn together with embroidery floss. Then on the inside I sort of broke my rule. I didn't want to set the tone or put anything in the pockets because I was worried that people would leave it there. I do that. If you give me a journal and it's somewhat decorated, I leave everything exactly where you put it. I, I don't know why, why I do that, but I, I have a pocket in the front and then a few bits of goodness that I've added to it. And these, some are from the collection and some are just things that I thought were fun. The idea is you could use these for journaling. You could use this as something to build an embellishment cluster on and put it anywhere in the page. You could take these and throw them away and say they're not my style at all. Look at the kites. The kites is the luscious textured paper too. Then you have a really nice pocket here. And again, I've tried not to put stuff in the pockets because I didn't want to set the tone. I did sneak in a stamp. Life happens, love helps and a little pocket right here. This is a belly band for the page so you can tuck a bunch of stuff in here. You could put stuff in while you're thinking about, do I wanna use it? Gorgeous, look at those hydrangeas. Uh, a pocket across the bottom with some stuff in it. I'm a little teapot and a tag. Real nice thick page. This is from a different collection, but I just liked it, so I put it in. This one has a lot of white, so you could use those pages to write on or sketch on. A pocket and something that I added because I wanted to. Same here. This is a little page topper. It says gratitude underneath. Sweet as a cupcake. These could be journaling cards, whatever you want. They could also be used to make a pocket on a page you just glue it right there and right there and then it's a pocket here this could be glued on each side and it could become a pocket it could be a place where you write some journaling or put some little pictures whatever you want to do you could also journal in it and then glue it up and nobody will ever know it's there more embellishment opportunities in these pockets this is just a scrap of paper A big tag, sweet and kind and smart and cheery, blank on the back to write on. This is an interesting collection and that's why I mixed this with it because it has pink, peach, and a splash of red. Family fun time, have courage and always be kind. I haven't glued anything in that I feel like commits the book to a certain direction or theme. This is an envelope. You can put stuff in, decorate. You could also snip this edge and use it from this way too. And then you have a nice pocket in the back, nice big pocket to put stuff in. I think this is precious. If I was decorating it, I would just have a great time. I think it would be sort of a junky girly journal if I was doing it. Add some more textiles and a lot of cute stuff. And I put in a ton of butterflies because <laughs> it's butterfly paper. I like butterflies. If they don't speak to you, you can ditch them. I have some quotes that are on vellum. The first step is the dream. 
No longer forward nor behind, I look in hope or fear, but grateful take the good I find, the best of now and here. I think you can use a quote on a page to really set the tone or the inspiration. And I tried to pick things that size-wise work for this journal. A little tag that says special moments. And I've got charms. You can staple the charms on or put them on with strings. If you're watching this series, I'm giving a lot of these same ideas. So you can watch the other journals. Maybe there's a style that you don't really like, but you might still get a good idea. I have some paper doilies and some really neat fancy papers in here that could be used as an embellishment cluster building. Some washi tape. I don't know that I'd use the Uno card if I was you, but hey, that's your deal. Then I have a bunch of scraps of paper. These are cut down to nine inches for easy shipping, which is the height of the cover here. But I envision maybe some of them you would cut to eight and a half and you would make in length and make a pocket or a belly band for the page. Then the ends that I have cut off here could be tags or pockets or tuck spots or tip outs. If those are terms you don't know, keep watching my series. And I also have a series, I have a playlist on how to make one of these journals. So you could watch that too if you want to give you ideas. Here, these are already cut to the right length. They were scraps from the pages, so they're cut to the right length to be a layer on a tuck spot. And what I would probably do is take one of these and put it on here just to dress it up. And then you can use, imagine these all go together. And then you can use one of these to give it another layer. I find that if I just take a one inch and glue it in, I'm not that happy with it. So that's why those really narrow strips are in there just more fun. I didn't count the butterflies. They are, some are meant or able to be layered. They're similar size. So there are some of those in here. You can use glue, glue dots, stapler, whatever. Stickers. This is a giant flower. It's sort of sheer. It's a sticker and it would be the equivalent of well, the word completely escapes me right now, but it came on a roll and it's sticky and you put it on shelf liner. It would show through. If you put it on here, the butterflies would show through, the kites would show, or you could put it on a solid and it would be like that. Or you could say, no, I'm not using that in my journal. And that's totally fine. Bit of lace, some ribbon. There's Wilson to say hi to you. Some more ribbon. I put in a bunch of silver thread just because it's kind of fun to take it. You could put it on a doily, put some of this, and then put some stuff on top of it. These are cute too. I would probably trim these down and use just a small section of them sticking out of an embellishment cluster. They're a floral decoration. This is maybe watercolor paper with some cool stuff on it. Great for die cutting and making your embellishment, or you could cut a space of it and use it to make a pocket. This, it just had to be in there. I didn't decide what metals you're gonna use. I didn't narrow you in any way. I, I think you could have tons of fun with this stuff and have a super adorable journal. I was thinking I would probably sell something like this for about the same price as I sell the completed ones. It made just as big of a mess in my room, let me tell you, because I went around and looked. And if you see a category that I'm missing that you think, oh, well, when you decorate the journal, you would want Da, da, da. Be sure and tell me. Speak up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing and that you're getting inspired by all of these papers and ideas. Bye-bye.